part of FERC's responsibility is transmission, the whole transmission network nationwide. And uh, there is some concern that it's a problem. We don't have enough transmission capacity, especially if you're focused on green sources like solar and wind, because where that energy tends to be abundant is a long way from where the people, the demand tends to be abundant. So is there a problem there with transmission capacity, and what's the future of that problem? We have a buzz phrase called location-constrained resources. In other <laughs> words, they are exactly where the people aren't. So we need to build the transmission. The challenges are citing the transmission because we don't have a role at FERC really in that. It's state by state, local by locality by locality. That makes it very challenging. In addition, figuring out who pays for a line when it's going from one area to another and, and how those costs are allocated is sometimes even more contentious than the siting of it. We're trying to address that at FERC through a rulemaking process, and Congress is talking about giving us more clarified authority on it. But it is a big challenge in terms of getting green resources, green electrons to the consumers who want to consume them. Well, I can imagine that if it's state by state or county by county, trying to build more transmission from a, a windy place like the Dakotas to a high demand place like the West Coast would seem to be near impossible. It's extremely challenging, and that's why, as a nation, we did have 15 to 20 years of underinvestment of transmission. We're trying to catch up a little bit, but until these policies are clarified, I would argue, until we have more authority to cite the transmission, but also until it's clear who pays what for these transmission lines, it will continue to be a, a major challenge. And even if we solve those, it's still a very difficult uh, part of infrastructure to get actually constructed in this country. People love the electricity, they just don't like to look at the power lines that deliver it to them.